Hello everyone, welcome back to Medico X. So this is the story of a 23 year old girl who suddenly feels discomfortness in breathing. She feels like someone has tightened her chest using the ropes and also she starts feeling very severe pain in her joints. She did not understand what is wrong with her because it was the first time when she had such worst experience in her life. Fortunately, her sister is a nurse. She advised her to visit health facility as soon as possible. So their family members took her to the nearest health center available and it was the primary health center. Doctor on duty understood the severity of the condition and referred the patient to the tertiary health center. So in this case, it was Government Medical College Jagdalpur, where currently I am doing my internship. By the way, if you don't know me yet, my name is Dr. Dev Kumar Sahu and currently I am an intern doctor. So after taking all the significant history, her parents told that she has never been sick as much as now and also she had never been hospitalized for any other reason. All signs and symptoms were denoting something very big but not rare, especially in Bastar Chhattisgarh region where almost every day at least three patients encounters with the same complaints. She is an unmarried woman at the peak of her life enjoying her days. So on the further questionnaire, they told that she never needed even a single blood transfusion. So on general examination, we found the color of her palms and the face was extremely pale, denoting that she is severely anemic. But there is a very important history told by her parents that she took 9 days of continuous fasting in this Navratri. This line was a trigger to go for the investigation for sickling. So we ordered a hemoglobin electrophoresis report where we found the pattern of her hemoglobin was HPSS and CBC report revealing that there was very less amount of hemoglobin. It was just 2.6 gram percentage. In the real life, it is a very high risk condition. Normal women having more than 12 gram percentage of hemoglobin, you can imagine the severity of this condition. And the stress that she was bearing for massive 9 days exploded in the form of sickle cell crisis. For those who don't know about sickling, every structure of a body, even a single protein, is determined by the genes. Any kind of changes in the gene can alter the structure of a protein. Where all proteins should be well functioning, it turns the protein into non-functioning or even a malfunctioning form. Means it cannot act normally. These kind of changes in the genes are termed as the genetic mutation. Both her parents were trait for the sickling, which means they had HbA-S pattern of hemoglobin which means half of the hemoglobin were normal and half of the hemoglobin were abnormal. The abnormal hemoglobin containing RBCs or the red blood cells turned into the sickle sept, where the normal pattern of the hemoglobin that is HbAA containing red blood cells are coin sept. So in the homozygous pattern of sickling, there is only defective chains of hemoglobin. When there is a lot of physical stress in the form of dehydration or a hard physical work, the shape of the red blood cells changes from the coin sept into the sickle sept. So the main problem with the sickle sept RBCs are like they carry less amount of oxygen and also there are high chances that they can clog into the microvasculatures and can present into the different kinds of crisis. Coming back to the patient tells series episode 1, she was immediately given massive blood transfusion and intravenous fluid management was done. And for the extreme pain, strong analgesics were added. So after 4 days of hospitalization, she started responding to the treatment and there was improvement in her condition. But again, she had the same episode of sickle cell crisis. And this time, it was way serious than before. She was completely unable to take breath by herself. We needed to intubate her immediately for the purpose of maintaining oxygen saturation level. Even after all modes of intervention, she could not be revived. Her pupil of both eyes were fixed, dilated and non-reactive to light. And there was flat line in the ECG. I am creating this video to make the people aware about the sickling. A small weakness can be a disaster someday. So you need to understand that what is the reason behind the sickling pattern of hemoglobin. So you need to understand that the risk of having non-dominant homozygous genetic disease are more when the couples are more close relative, like if they are marrying between the cousins. So if you know any person who is suffering from sickle cell disease, you need to tell her that she has to focus on her symptoms very closely. She has to be aware any kind of discomfortness or any kind of abnormality if she is having. Such patients should immediately visit to the health facility and should take two important medicine for sickle cell disease. The first one is folic acid that will help in the blood formation 
and the second one is tablet hydroxyurea and also tell them to take adequate amount of water because the dehydration is one of the most important precipitating factor of the sickle cell crisis so during these seven months of intensive i have seen five patients of sickle cell disease those who lost their life this is not a deadly disease if the proper care is taken such patient many times turn yellow because of the rbc destruction at that time we need to understand that this is the alarm they must admit it to hospital and undergo blood transfusion this disease is very less in urban areas but in the rural areas it is quite frequent in the rural areas such as bastar it is really a very serious public health issue so i do create videos on such topic to aware the general community it will be worth it if you click the like and subscribe button and also if you want to share this video kindly do share all the huge amount of time that i have given to this video will be paid off so we will be the testimony of such amazing cases under the series the patient tales that i have started and this was the first episode and i am pretty sure that many other episodes with the many other interesting stories it will come and go higher and higher i will see you soon in an another video with an another topic till then celebrate this deepavali with lots of love and lots of happiness let's be a medico x it's dr dev signing off thank you everyone